I am going to experiment in front of the cameras today. I'm going to be making something I've never found a recipe for, smoked salmon meatballs to serve with pasta and a cream of tomato sauce. I had the sauce a long time ago on a pasta dish that I ate in a restaurant many years ago. The sauce was fantastic. I think that would be good to go with salmon. I looked on the internet to try to find recipes for smoked salmon meatballs. I'm sure they're out there, but I didn't find any. So I'm going to invent my own today. So that's my experiment today in front of the camera, smoked salmon meatballs. And I'm going to be making my own pasta from scratch and making my own sauce from scratch. So let's get into the ingredients I'm going to be using for this recipe today. I have 12 ounces, which is 340 grams of smoked salmon. I'll be finely chopping that. I'm going to be adding to that 6 ounces or 170 grams of ground pork. I know my salmon is going to be soft and flimsy. I'm afraid my meatballs are going to crumble. The pork should give me some texture without adding a lot of flavor, like beef would. You could use ground chicken meat, ground turkey meat. I'm using pork because I have it. Then I have one cup, which is four and a half ounces or 125 grams of breadcrumbs. I've divided these up because half is going to go into my meatballs and then half I'm going to be using to roll the meatballs in before I fry them. Then I have one quarter cup which is about two ounces or 60 grams of grated. I'm using Romano cheese. You could use Parmesan. 12 fresh parsley sprigs, leaves only. I'll be chopping those up fine. One half teaspoon dry oregano flakes. Two eggs. One half teaspoon salt. I'll be adjusting my salt when I get to that point in the recipe. About one quarter teaspoon of ground pepper. I'm just going to be grating in some freshly ground black pepper into my mix. 4 cups oil, roughly, for frying. I'm estimating 4 cups of marinara sauce. This is my homemade sauce. This recipe will probably feed 4 to 8 people, 6 to 8 people, 6 to 8. So I'm, I'm estimating 4 cups of sauce. Then I have 1 cup of heavy cream. And then finally, I'm estimating 2 pounds or 900 grams of dry pasta or make your own from scratch. This is my fresh pasta dough. I have a a recipe and video on the website for making pasta from scratch. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be making fresh pasta today. So those are the ingredients I'm going to be using for making my pasta with smoked salmon meatballs. I need to chop up my parsley leaves here. I want to get this chopped up fairly fine. All right, I'm satisfied with that. That should be good enough. I didn't mention that this is flat leaf Italian parsley. The curly leaf parsley is fine for garnishing a plate, decorations. Flat leaf is what you typically use in a recipe because there's more flavor to it. There's my salmon there. This salmon is sliced, but it's not chopped up. Okay, that should be good enough. I'll move that to a bowl. And then I think I'm ready to start assembling my ingredients. I put my salmon in a large bowl. There's my chopped pork. One half cup of my breadcrumbs. My grated cheese. Chopped parsley. my two eggs. I'm not going to put my salt in yet. But I am going to grind in some black pepper. What I'll do is when I get this mixed up and I get it ready to fry, I'll fry a little bit of my mixture and taste it for salt. And then I'll put salt in my mix until I get it right. So right now I just want to get this combined. I break my egg yolks up there. I forgot one thing. I forgot my oregano. So there goes the oregano in. Usually you forget something. Okay, and then I want to just check this for consistency. This feels nice and firm and sticky. What this should be is just firm enough. 
that it should hold its shape and it does perfectly. So there's one of my meatballs. I think one half a cup of breadcrumbs is perfect for this to glue this together with the eggs and as I mentioned the pork will give me some texture when I bite into this. To check this for salt what I want to do is just take a little bit of my filling here on a fork. I've got the oil heating in a skillet on my stove. I'm just going to cook this for like a minute enough so that it starts to brown. Then that'll be fine as far as tasting this for salt. I put my breadcrumbs in a shallow plate here. I'm going to shape my meatballs here. I want some eh, inch and a half wide meatballs. I did wet my hands because it'll be easier to shape these if your hands are wet. I am in the meantime heating my oil up. This did need salt. I added about a good generous half teaspoon of salt to the mix. Tasted it again and it's fine. So now I have all my meatballs to shape and then I'll be ready to start frying these. I've brought my temperature of my oil up to 375 degrees Fahrenheit which is 190 degrees centigrade. I used all the oil in those two jars because I don't need that deep an oil to brown my meatballs but I need it that deep to get my probe of my thermometer immersed deep enough to give me an accurate reading. So I'm going to lower my meatballs in there. Maybe about half a dozen, eight at a time. And I'm going to turn these over when they're brown enough. I don't need to cook these all the way through right now because they are going to cook later in my sauce. I just want to give them a nice golden brown color which will only take like a minute or two. Okay, there's a few there that have browned nicely. I'm going to move these over to a tray that I have lined with paper towels to drain. And then I'll continue until all these are browned. I've been heating my sauce here in a large pan until it just is coming up to a, a boil. It's just starting to bubble a little bit. So I'm going to carefully lower my meatballs in there a few at a time. Let's see, will they all fit just barely? Okay, so I've got my heat down to low and I'm going to cover this because I don't need to thicken it. This is prepared marinara sauce. Again, this is my homemade. I have on the website a, a recipe for making marinara sauce. So I'm just going to cover this. The heat is on low and I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes and just let this simmer very lightly for 30 minutes. That should cook my meatballs easily all the way through. I will come back to this once in a while and just check it, stir it a little bit and make sure that it's not scorching on the bottom. I've allowed my pan to cool a little bit. I took the meatballs out. And now I want to pour my cream in there and stir that in. I want my, my sauce to have this creamy color to it because I think it's better with the salmon. I mean, it's going to have a salmon-y color to it. I want to take a little taste of that, but I doubt it's going to need anything. Because as I mentioned earlier, this is my homemade marinara sauce. That was perfect, so. No, that's a nice creamy flavor. I'm going to put my meatballs back in. And then when I'm ready to use this, I'll reheat this. And I'll be ready to serve. All right, I've got my homemade pasta here. I'm going to flatten this out so I can run it through my machine. Because I'm working with meatballs, I'm just thinking I have nothing to do but spaghetti and meatballs. I mean, I could make a lot of different pasta shapes, but I'm going to go with spaghetti. I have my spaghetti attachment on my pasta maker here. I'm going to flour that lightly before I put it through the machine. Okay. I think I already mentioned if you want to see how to make homemade pasta, I have a video and a recipe on the website for making pasta from scratch. And 
And that's a plane going overhead. Yes, I live in a mobile home, not a fancy house out in the Hamptons. And while I'm doing this, I should probably tell you that I have water heating on the stove to boil this. With homemade pasta, this is gonna cook in like three minutes. It's not like working with dry pasta where you have to hydrate it. Just gonna cut that in half. And that's what it looks like. There's my spaghettis. I'm gonna flour that a little bit so that it doesn't stick together. Okay, it's that simple. I mean, if you don't make your own pasta, it's really that simple to make pasta. You saw how much work that was. I mean, yes, I had to make the dough in advance and let it sit. But that's how easy it is to make homemade pasta. Okay, my next step then is to get this cooked as soon as my water comes up to the boil. Again, this will cook in two to three minutes and then we'll be ready to plate the food and see how good it tastes. Okay, to plate this, I'm gonna put some of my pasta in my plate here. A couple of meatballs on there. And without making a mess, put a nice generous helping of my creamy spaghetti sauce on there. And then garnish this with a little bit of Romano cheese. Incredible or what? The last step is to see how good this tastes. There is my spaghetti with cream of tomato sauce and my smoked salmon meatballs. Okay, here I am. Now again, I created this recipe myself, so this is my first experience with this other than when I tasted it for salt. Oh, wow, that is good. You can taste the smoked salmon but see that little bit of pork does give it that texture, that chewiness. Oh, my homemade pasta, which I know is going to taste good. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, excuse me. I got to go enjoy my spaghetti with smoked salmon meatballs. For a printable PDF copy of this recipe with step-by-step -step photographs, Visit my website, mobilehomegourmet.com, and look on the home page or in the recipe archive.